All right, guys, so you just saw me try to pull this box out of the way, and I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna be able to get that out clean um, without disassembling maybe more than what I need to. I don't know, we'll see. There's a set of screws down below here. Uh, they may actually pull out what I need. I probably have something on the same side on the other side. It's just reaching down underneath and trying to get to them. Hopefully I don't have to pull out the plugs uh, to pull out this whole trim assembly. Even if I do, I don't think it would be that big of a deal. You can see these little bungs for, for all the screw covers here. Take a look. If it's, if it's something I've got to do, then I'll pull that out next. On to what else you saw me take out. So, uh, hopefully I've got enough light down here for you guys to be able to see what's going on. So I pulled out the water tank. Unfortunately, if you look down below, you can kind of get an idea how, how it's really soft down here. And if I can get a little more light, let me see if I can make this a little easier for you guys. So, if you look down here in the bottom, you can kind of make out where it's soft underneath. You can see it flexing right here, and you can see where the separation of the hole away from, once now yeah, you see a little bit of water here anyways from the, what just came out from the tank. But you can see how all this underneath is soft. And unfortunately, what it looks like is that this portion right here, I don't know how well you can see this flex, but it's soft right underneath where the tank was. I'm thinking my whole problem came down to three screw holes. Unfortunately, I don't believe any of those were bedded. There was just this little plate that was in there to keep the tank kind of situated and keep held back. Um, and I, it's soft here. But back here, it's it's really firm. I mean, you can kind of tap test it to hear, hear the difference. Um, I think those three screw holes right here let water penetrate enough through um, that over time, just a little bit of water got on there. Dories are flat bottom boats. Um, so any pounding, once that water gets down and that core gets softened up right in there, the pounding is gonna is is gonna hit really hard right underneath this section. This is kind of where the where the hole comes flat, and you're looking at the bottom. And there's no deep V on these on these boats. That's the reason why they're super efficient. They get up to plane really easy. Uh, got twin Honda 50s is all that pushes this thing. So, unfortunately, it looks like I'm gonna have to do what I thought I was gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to cut all of this cabinetry out all the way up and across through across the back down the bottom over across this box will probably have to come out the rest of the way and then down I think I can't tell whether or not this seal right here I don't think this this bulkhead is actually attached. This just kind of separates the V-berth. I think this was one glassed in piece. I know a lot of the, the C-brats will actually cut this section out um, to be able to gain entrance and uh, in and out of the, the V-berth a lot easier. So anyhow, it looks like a, a lot of cutting. And, and my worry is, is once I, once I cut it, can I get a glass back in clean and make it look like Make it look like it, uh, it's supposed to be that way when I put it back together. So, anyways, thanks for following along. Take care.